I'm Karen Sutherland from Edible Eden Design and today we're going to look at gypsum. Such a simple product, often overlooked and misunderstood and really needs to be used a lot more. Recently doing a bit of a search for in extra information on gypsum, I was surprised to not find any of the good information that we had during my apprenticeship and training at, at Horticultural College in Melbourne years ago and instead a whole lot of information that suggested mostly American, that it wasn't very useful for soils and should be ignored. So I thought it was time to set the record straight and talk about how to use gypsum, particularly in Australia, and, or in Australia, but particularly in Melbourne, I should say, where we have in the northern and western parts of Melbourne, a lot of really heavy clay soil. But there are many other clay soils in Australia that can be helped by gypsum. And there's a handy test that we've done a demonstration of in another YouTube video that you can check out to see whether your clay will be helped by gypsum. I use gypsum for several reasons in my garden. Number one is if I'm starting a new garden and I really need to work on totally unimproved clay. It's very, very useful. The second reason is that I added into planting holes. So again, in that kind of situation with really difficult clay soils, definitely not with sandy soils. I wouldn't really bother with that when I'm planting. The third reason is I use it on a once a year basis on my established garden beds. And I'm gonna demonstrate that for you in a minute and the best way to measure out your gypsum to make it easier. The fourth reason I use it is because I use grey water a lot in my garden when we go through periods of drought. And when we go through those periods of drought, I like to use gypsum to help buffer the salts in the soil that might have come from even low salt detergents. And the fifth reason I use gypsum is to prepare vegetable garden beds, particularly for tomatoes and vegetables like that that get blossom, that are prone to blossom end rot because gypsum is a really good source of calcium. I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks so that you can get your gypsum onto your garden much more easily. So now that you've hauled your 25 kilogram bag of gypsum up and sort of thought, oh my goodness, use your handy snips, another use for your handy snips yourself. And I'm going to use a trowel and a scale to measure out the recommended dose of gypsum, which is, or the recommended application rate, which is between one to two kilos per square metre. So I've got a tape measure that we're going to show you in the garden, measuring out one square metre. And we're going to show you what one kilo looks like and what two kilos looks like. So the idea is to familiarise yourself with it. So I've already balanced out the scale so that it is on zero when it has the bowl on it. And actually, well, first of all, I'm going to show you what a handful looks like. Because the bag has said that a handful is 70 grams. Now, my hands are pretty small. So let's have a look at that. There's some random bit of stock in it. That is, oh, that's a big handful. Okay, so that's 250 grams. <laughs> but that gives you some idea because I recommend that you only use between 50 and 100 grams per square meter on lawns, established lawns, if they're not kikuya or something that can cope with being smothered. So let's continue on. So get an idea what a handful looks like for you. And we're going to measure out one kilo. Nearly there. It's not very much. Gypsum, of course, does not change the pH of your soil, which is really useful. So it's a very good soil improver. And another fancy word for soil improver is soil ameliorant, which I really like. So that is, oh, over a kilo. Okay, we'll take some of that out. The reason why I'm not a great baker, sometimes not that great with measuring. Okay, there's a kilo. So there's a kilo of gypsum. That is the minimum. I like to use the higher end rate with clay soil, so two kilos. But let's just show you what one kilo per square metre looks like. Because the idea is that you either measure out a handful, so you know how many grams are in a handful, or you take a kilo and you measure out one square metre, apply that, and then you get a feel for what that looks like and then you continue on doing that in your garden. And another hint is that if this is 25 kilos and we've just opened this bag, then that's going to be 12 and a half about there and you can mark it with a texture and so on and work out uh, when you've worked your way through 10, 12 kilos 
but you should have covered 10 or 12 square meters. And so it just stops you from using too much. You won't hurt anything. Uh, uh, of course, that was at the one kilo per square meter rate I was talking about. You, you won't hurt your soil by adding more, but you want to get the, as good a value out of it as possible. So we're going to tip the gypsum out of our kitchen scales, which we're going to need to clean afterwards, and head out into the garden. Here we are at a sample garden bed area and getting my tape measure out. This is what you do when you've got a garden bed that's existing with mulch in it. And I don't think you have to really move the mulch back to put the gypsum down, or you don't want to have to always do that because it's just too hard. So it's a meter by a meter. So we've got a nice little area that we can demonstrate in. So now we take our one kilo of gypsum and we spread it out evenly. And over the top of the mulch, it's quite easy to see where it's going. As I said, if you're doing it on a brand new garden bed without mulch, well then you just put it straight on the soil. You don't, you don't wait till you have mulch to put it on. This is just how to manage it when you already have mulch and presumably plants amongst all this as well. But it's just easier to show you an empty bit of mulch to demonstrate how you do this. So now you've spread your gypsum fairly evenly. This is all you really have to do. You just kind of disturb the mulch. You can use a, a bit of a hoe for this as well, or a steel rake, just anything that will disturb or fluff the mulch up a bit for you. This is all you have to do, just to move that gypsum into the mulch and gradually get it down to the soil profile. So that's all you have to do, just fluff it around a bit, around your plants that would be in there as well. And then if you haven't done this just before rain, it's really important to water this in with a hose or a watering can. Obviously in a big garden, you've got to use a hose. So you water it in. So you, you, what you're aiming for is that you can't see the gypsum anymore. So a hose is good because you can squirt it through the mulch. And that's really all there is to it as far as getting gypsum into an established garden bed and having it do some good for you.